Hello, my name is Andrew Wardley. I'm Clinical Director of the Christie Clinical Research Facility. I'd like to take you on a tour of the facility as seen by a patient visiting the hospital. The Christie is the largest single-site cancer centre in Europe, serving a population of 3.2 million. We see in excess of 14,000 new cancer patients each year. Based in Manchester, with radiotherapy centres at Oldham and Salford, we are a national specialist, treating 25% of patients from around the country. Not all of the clinical trials open at the Christie involve administering chemotherapy to patients. There are a number of trials which include radiotherapy, biomarker research, diagnostic research, which includes molecular imaging, also surgical trials, epidemiology, and trials in supportive care. From the moment a patient arrives at the Christie and comes in through the door, there are trained staff there to greet them and to make sure all their needs are met. At the Christie, we employ 2,500 staff and we have 350 volunteers, without whom we could not manage. Patients arriving at the clinical trials unit will often have a blood test taken. If the patient is taking part in a clinical trial, this will be done by a specially trained phlebotomist who's trained to GCP standards. Once the patient's blood sample has been taken, this will be transported to the pre-analytical lab and will be processed in accordance with the trial protocol. All of them will be processed in whichever way is required for that particular clinical trial. The Clinical Trials Lab processes samples for over 200 different clinical trials. We process samples for a PK, PD and PBMC analysis. Once all the checks have been completed, we process the samples in accordance with the lab manual, which is previously set out in documentation provided to us by the sponsor of the study. Once the samples are processed, we then store, log and track them in accordance with that lab manual, either in our minus 40 or our minus 80 freezer. All of our equipment here is calibrated and maintained annually. All of our freezers have temperature logs, which can be accessed easily through Teams requests. They also have a backup system, which enables us to monitor any out of hours temperature deviations. And we have a list of people that can come in and transfer samples into our two backup minus 80 freezers where necessary. Clinical trials come with a lot of baggage. Efficient storage is essential to promote safety and efficacy. Once the samples are processed, they are packed up, ready for shipment. This involves them being packed in absorbent material and put into biohazard bags. All frozen samples are then shipped out on dry ice, generally on the same day that they're processed in order for the sponsor companies to analyse them. All samples are shipped to different countries, different companies, all dependent upon the requests of the sponsor company themselves. During their visit to the Christie, patients will be seen in the outpatient clinic. They may have different assessments performed according to what is required by the trial protocol. This may involve them having their blood pressure and vital signs recorded. They may have an ECG taken and also a physical examination by their medical team. On their first visit to the clinical trials unit, this may be the occasion when the idea of taking part in a clinical trial is first introduced to the patient. Their medical team will consider whether they may be eligible for trials currently running in the clinical trials unit. If it appears the patient may be eligible, they will be given written information about the trial to take away with them to consider. Once the results of blood tests are available and the patient has been seen by their medical team, they can proceed to the treatment area on the first floor. Funding for the clinical trials unit comes from various sources. Some comes from the Christie Charity, other funding comes from the National Institute for Health Research, also from Cancer Research UK. Different kinds of treatments are administered on the clinical trials unit. 
Some patients will receive an oral treatment and some patients will have their treatment administered intravenously. The treatments will last for different lengths of time. Some may be a fairly quick infusion over only 30 minutes. Some will be much longer and the patient will be accommodated in a bed to make sure they're comfortable throughout treatment. Many of the treatments we administer are novel agents and so patients are monitored regularly while treatment is being administered to ensure their safety. Clinical research is embedded into the main service of the Trust, having the clinical trials unit and the standard chemotherapy day services next to each other. This means we can share many services and resources. Although much of the care that the patient receives on a clinical trial will be given by their research nurse, during the time they're undergoing treatment on the clinical trials unit, they will be cared for by a member of the core team. The core team consists of a number of registered nurses who are trained to GCP standards and who have been trained by the research team to administer their treatments. They are also supported by a number of healthcare assistants, our invaluable lab staff and our housekeepers. Many of the patients who come to the unit are undergoing complex treatments. Some of these require quite a long inpatient stay, for example, immunotherapy treatments. We have a six-bedded, purpose-built inpatient unit where these patients can be cared for. We work collaboratively with the critical care team in the rest of the hospital to support these patients throughout their stay. Sometimes these patients can stay with us for up to three weeks. During their stay on the clinical trials unit, the families of patients also need a good deal of support from the staff. Patient treatments are made in the special aseptics unit on the ground floor. The team in the trials aseptic unit is overseen by our trials pharmacist, Anna Bowron. We have four isolators dedicated to chemotherapy and that's for us to prepare chemotherapy on a daily basis. And we have one isolator that's dedicated solely to the use of gene therapy or gene modified medicines. In the isolators, the vials are reconstituted with water for injections or another diluent and they are added to a bag of sodium chloride or glucose um, and that will be the volume that's actually administered to the patient. This is a sterile environment, free from contamination and any particles or human hair, things like that. Each investigational medicinal product has a designated expiry and a designated storage temperature. So we make sure that we prepare it in the correct manner. All of the vials and anything that we've used in the reconstitution process in the investigational medicinal products um, are put into cytotoxic waste bins and they are sent for incineration. Once drugs have been made in the aseptic unit, they are taken through to the pharmacy where they are stored correctly. They will be collected from there and taken to the treatment floor before being administered to the patient. Before leaving the unit, patients may collect their take-home medication from pharmacy. This may include anti-sickness drugs, pain relief, anything else they need to support them whilst undergoing treatment. The clinical trials team in pharmacy are key to the work carried out in the clinical trials unit. It is crucial that trial drugs are stored correctly and accounted for at every stage as dictated by the trial protocol. The data collected on clinical trials is processed by our team of administrators and data managers. Source data and paper CRFs are stored in the administration centre on the second floor. There are two dedicated rooms for the use of monitors who come to visit. Also in the administration centre is a seminar room used for MDTs and teaching activities. In addition to systemic treatments in clinical trials, we also carry out trials into different modes of radiotherapy. We have excellent clinical research facilities. We have one of the world's largest 
early phase clinical trials unit, we have the biggest chemotherapy unit in the UK. We have dedicated laboratory facilities and staffing for processing clinical trial samples. We have a comprehensive tumour tissue bank which collects samples from across five collaborating Manchester Trusts. We have links with academic institutions and other healthcare institutions across the North West. We do all of this to improve outcomes for our patients.